In this presentation, you're going to learn about the importance of cultivating physical and mental perseverance in our lives. As you may know, perseverance is the driving force that empowers us to overcome obstacles, achieve our goals, and become resilient individuals. You're going to learn the strategies that develop both physical and mental perseverance and understand their profound impact on our overall well-being. Once you're finished with this, you will be armed with excellent tips that will be useful for when you may be working out, studying, or preparing for something much greater. Now let's go straight to it and talk more about cultivating perseverance for the physical and mental aspects of your life. Understanding Physical Perseverance So to begin, let's talk about physical perseverance. This refers to the ability to maintain determination and resilience in the face of physical challenges. Whether it's sports, fitness, or simply daily activities, physical perseverance will play a role in pushing our boundaries and achieving excellence. You may be training for something challenging like a 5K run or even a marathon. It's one of your greatest challenges yet, and you need to physically persevere. So it's important to make sure you train regularly and build that perseverance as you go. Setting clear goals. Next, we'll be setting clear goals. This pertains to both physical and mental perseverance. You want to make sure these are achievable, realistic, and measurable goals. It will ensure how far you've gotten and how much you need to do in order to achieve it. Break down your long-term goals into smaller, manageable milestones and celebrate those achievements along the way. The smaller you can break them down, the better. So be sure to write down your bigger goals and try to break them down into much smaller ones. Consistency and Discipline Of course, the next thing we'll be talking about our key components to persevering is consistency and discipline. Establish a routine and stick with it, even on days when the motivation is low. Consistent effort over time builds the foundation for lasting progress and success. And we know that you need to stick with it. You may feel like not doing anything one day, but it's got to be done. There is no greater feeling in the world quite like the sense of accomplishment. You feel great knocking something out when there's no motivation there. Now it's okay to take a mental health day if you're not feeling your best mentally. But remember, it's always a good idea to keep going and work towards your goal. No need to slack off or procrastinate either. Listen to your body. Finally, we ask you to listen to your body. While pushing yourself is essential, you need to make sure you do this to avoid fatigue, injury, and burnout. It's okay to rest and recover so you can be able to maintain long-term perseverance. It's never a good idea to push so hard you end up out of commission for days, weeks, or even months. So it would be a good idea to set a target, assuming you're doing some kind of training. And once you reach a daily target, then call it a day. Again, do not overdo it and don't push yourself too hard. Know your limit. Know what your body is telling you. So that will just about cover it in this presentation. We hope that you follow these steps in order to cultivate your physical and mental perseverance. And when you do, you'll be much tougher than ever before. Thanks for checking this out. We'll see you soon. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.